The Salish Sea is one of the world's most amazing ecosystems, overflowing with life, and it's the best place on earth to be a wildlife veterinarian. Join me, Joe Gatos, and Team Sea Doc as we explore the natural wonders of the Pacific Northwest in Salish Sea Wild. Hi, this is Joe Gatos with the Sea Doc Society, and today we're hoping to do some science with one of the Salish Sea's most iconic and most endangered species, the southern resident killer whale. The southern resident killer whale population numbers only 73 animals, with the population experiencing a troublesome decline right now. The Salish Sea is their critical habitat, and they used to come here for the entire summer, but now we rarely see them because the salmon that they eat are also in trouble. Let me get the bow line for you. We're on board with no fisheries in the San Juan Islands. Reports are that the southern residents might be far south in Puget Sound, but it doesn't matter how far we need to go, we can't afford to miss an opportunity to collect crucial data. Dr. Brad Hansen captains the Thai E3 on the 70 mile run that brings us to within sight of the Seattle skyline. Near the south end of Whidbey Island, he slows the inflatable to an idle and we start scouting for blows and dorsal fins. Bragman has been fascinated with killer whales since he was a young boy. He's been studying them as a wildlife biologist for decades, and if they're around, he'll find them. And there they are, spread out and slowly moving south. Southern residents have a complex social structure, and we first need to identify which animals are hanging out together. Even though we're working under a federal research permit, we want to give the whales plenty of space. These guys, however, choose to make collecting ID photos easy by surfacing right next to the boat. And we record each animal's unique saddle patch markings. It's coming up right here. Our next job is to gather as much health and diet data as possible. Working with large wild predators is always challenging. If these were polar bears or African lions, we would have to mobilize them with anesthesia to take a blood sample or a fecal sample from those animals. That's not possible with southern resident killer whales. Instead, our main tool is a fine mesh net. Brad's many years spent among the killer whales really comes into play now as he tries to read their behavior and anticipate their movements, especially their bow movements. Most people that are whale watching are out looking for whales, but add in 24 years of education and a couple of scientists, and we're out looking for whale poop. That's right. The most valuable thing we can collect to help us save the Southern residents is a sample of whatever comes out of their north ends while they're headed south. This is exciting. This is endangered feces. All right, we got some poop here. Stuff is like gold. DNA will tell us which southern resident each sample came from, and they'll be tested for digestive flora, parasites, bacteria, and many other health indicators. Close observations by biologists and wildlife veterinarians enable us to examine the residents for skin disease and overall body function. Together with the data gleaned from fecal and breast samples, our goal is to create long-term medical records for each of these killer whales. Oh, fish and mouth! Oh. Oh, we also witness a big male chasing down a salmon. And after the kill, Brad's sharp eyes spot fish scales in the water. Yeah, no, we, oh, no, this looks good. We can almost put the fish back together. <laughs> that is a scale of a salmon that that killer whale was just eating. And we were lucky enough to scoop it off the surface of the water. And now we're gonna figure out what species of salmon this is. I love science. We know the Southern residents' favorite food is Chinook salmon. So it's very interesting that they've shown up now when coho are returning to the Sailor Sea. The Southern residents rarely return to our local waters these days because they can't find enough salmon here. And it's up to us as fellow residents to restore our habitat and fish runs to ensure a healthy ecosystem for all. <laughs>